happy Wednesday. It's a late start to the day. It's 1040. I just took my shower and I'm gonna do a little bit of makeup right now. I'm getting my hair done. And I always like to look cute when I get my hair done because my hair is all nice and pretty and blown out. So I'm gonna do some light summer makeup this morning. But I went to the gym, I did legs and glutes today. Do you hear that noise? Something is definitely loose in this vent in the bathroom because it makes so many weird sounds and it keeps getting worse. Like it just started making that noise the other day and I don't understand. I have to have someone look at it. I keep saying that, but I still haven't called maintenance yet. Maybe if I shut the AC off, that'll work. Guess not. <laughs> it's so annoying. Especially because I always film in the bathroom. That is so annoying. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Kate. Today is vlog week, day three. And if you're just coming to my channel, I decided to do a little vlog week this week. Kind of like Vlogmas, but I'm just vlogging Monday through Friday. Thank God that stopped, oh my goodness. I've been meaning to do a vlog week ever since Vlogmas ended, but never got around to it. And I decided this week would be the perfect week. So here we are. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. What else? Oh yeah, I also got Starbucks this morning. It was so gloomy when I woke up. It was so dark in here. And I just wanted to lay in bed and not even do anything, but I had some work that I needed to get done. Staying in bed was not an option, but I love to get a nice chai from Starbucks when it's super rainy. It's just so cozy. I really hope it doesn't rain though when I get my hair done because it will just completely ruin my hair. I don't think it's supposed to rain. I think it's just gonna be cloudy the rest of the day, but I just feel like getting cute today and like wearing a cute outfit because usually throughout the week I don't dress cute or that's a lie, I like never dress cute unless I'm going somewhere because I'm just a very laid back, chill type of gal. I just like to be in sweats, little t-shirts, as you guys know, like every single day I wear the same thing over and over again. But today I was like, we're getting our hair done at least let's be cute for today. I literally can't believe that June is almost over and the 4th of July is almost here. My phone is like blowing up because I have a group chat with me, my mom, um, my friend and her mom. We've been friends since like second grade and we're trying to plan a little dinner night. We're going, I think the day before the 4th of July and I'm like, thinking that's weeks away, but then it's literally next week. Like, that's crazy. And I can't believe it. Like, where does the time go? And before you know it, it's gonna be fall, which I'm so excited for fall. If you guys know me, I love fall. It's one of my favorite seasons. And I actually posted a little TikTok the other day to like a Gilmore Girls sound. And I was basically just saying like, I love the summer, but I can't wait for fall. And I just did a little montage and it kind of went viral and so many people were commenting and like, I'm the same exact way. Like I can't wait for fall. It's my favorite season. Like it's all I think about. I just love the fall so much. It's the best, but I'm trying to appreciate the summer because I know once it's over, I'm gonna be sad. I just thought that was funny because so many other people were like, I love the fall. <laughs> fall weather, fall fashion, pumpkin, Starbucks, like the pumpkin cold foam. So yummy. By the way, this blush is Stockholm from Merit Beauty. It's so pretty. I love this shade for the summer. And I love using cream blushes in the summertime. They just look like your own skin. Also, Something super exciting. I hit 100,000 on my main Instagram, which is crazy. I can't even imagine that amount of people in one room. Like, 
it just makes me so happy to know that I can inspire you and I can't get this out, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, it just makes me so happy when I get DMs saying that I inspire you or I motivate you to live a better lifestyle and just you appreciate my content and that means the absolute world to me because I can be very hard on myself and very just critical of my own content and I just feel like sometimes in a content rut I guess and when you guys just send me DMs and say that you're just thankful for the things that I post it seriously just makes my entire year it just reminds me that I'm accomplishing my goals when I inspire you so I just want to say thank you if you follow me on my main Instagram I appreciate you more than you know and I just can't believe that number like it's crazy and I put in a lot of work over the past year to grow that account because I just really want to inspire as many people as I can I just put on some mascara and some lip liner and I'm just finishing with this lip gloss from Joe Beauty in the shade Glass. It's so pretty. It has a nice little shimmer to it. So there's my makeup. I'm going to spritz my face with this luminizing mist also from Joe Beauty. I love to put a lot. It just feels nice <laughs> when I spray it on my face. So that's my makeup. Nice and cute for the day. My cute outfit for the day, I have on this little baby tee from Elwood clothing and then these new pants that I just got from Anthropology the other day in my other vlog at the mall. They're so cute. I feel like I look like Halloween right now with the black and the orange, but I'm obsessed with these pants. I can't get over them. They're so cute. They just tie at the bottom. They're basically just like parachute pants. They're so soft and they're just so nice to lounge in also because they're so comfy. I love how I say I'm wearing a cute outfit, but basically I'm just wearing a plain tee and then some cute pants. That's like the definition of a cute outfit to me is if I can dress it up with one item, like my pants or my top, I like to just wear something basic for the other piece, if that makes sense. And then I just have my hair up in a little clip for now until I go and get it done. I'm so excited. I don't really know how to explain what she does when I get my hair cut. I usually just say like, do what we always do. And I think she does like long layers and I kind of have bangs that frame my face. So she kind of cuts those to like the end of my eyebrow almost and just trims it up a bit because it's so long. I have so many dead ends right now, but my clip looks funny right now. I have to fix it. I just had some lunch. I had the same salad I made in yesterday's vlog and now I'm just gonna have a couple of my little dates that I made also yesterday in yesterday's vlog. Just my jeweled dates with almond butter and chocolate chips. So good and the perfect little sweet treat if you have a sweet tooth. They're so yummy and so easy to make. Like how cute. They're so yummy. I just got in my car. I'm actually gonna go to a coffee shop and do a little bit of work on my computer before I have to go and get my hair done. Just to get out of the apartment, I feel like every time I sit in my car, I'm always putting on chapstick. Um, but just to get out of the apartment, especially on a gloomy day, have a nice change of scenery, if you will. So I'm gonna go to Cafe Nero and probably get like a little chai or something. I already had chai this morning from Starbucks, but I feel weird if I don't get anything and I just go and sit there and do work. I mean, I could do that. There's probably nothing wrong with that, but I just feel like I need to buy something and like support their business if I'm gonna go and sit in there. So I guess I'll just get like a small chai or something, but I brought my bag from Chamberlain Coffee. I love this tote bag, by the way. It fits so much stuff. So I just brought my laptop, um, my notebook, camera, everything that I need. So I'll just chill in there until I have to leave to go get my hair done. It's like 20 minutes away, I think, but I'm so excited. I can't wait to get it done. There's so many dead ends and it's gonna look so cute when I come out. Now we can go anywhere you wanna go. Ooh, there's no place we can go. Ooh, my home's when I now how 
good does my hair look? Oh my goodness. I was taking pictures of my hair because it looks so good. It never looks this good unless I go and get it done because I never blow it out myself. I used to all the time with my little Revlon dry brush, but it takes so long and my arms get so tired. So I just let my natural hair be itself every single day, but it looks so good like this. Like I feel so put together right now, but I go to Sarah at Salon 535 in Peabody. And if you're in the North Shore area or the Boston area, definitely go to her. I've been going to her for, I think three years now, or it's gonna be three years. She's the only one that I trust with my hair. She does the perfect job every single time. And I usually do really long layers. She framed my face like all down the side. And we cut my bangs a little bit shorter this time, kind of like up to my cheek. And it came out so good. Like, I wish my hair could look like this every single day. It looks so pretty. It's getting so long. I don't know, I go through phases where I want shorter hair. Not like really short, but like to here. Or I want it really long and right now I want it long. I'm in my long hair era right now. I also stopped into DSW when I was at Cafe Nero because it was right next door and I actually wanted to go there anyway. I didn't realize there was one so close to me. I just got two pairs of flip-flops because I've been meaning to get like brown flip-flops because I only have black ones and the black don't go with all of my outfits so I got these ones from Roxy. They're very comfy and squishy. And I just love like the beachy vibe. And then I couldn't decide if I wanted those ones or these ones. So I just got both. These are really cute too. And they're very comfy. Flip flops, I know are not the best shoe for your feet, but at least these ones are like squishy and they actually have some support, but I just loved like the little braided detailing. So I stocked up on flip flops for the summer, very random, but I got some work done at the coffee shop and yeah now we're back home what time is it it's 3 30. it's so funny i always think that my hair is gonna take a lot longer than it does like my appointment was at 2. it's 3 30 and i'm already back my brother was actually getting a haircut today too and he took like two hours two full hours to do his hair but also i think he had to wait a while but i have so much hair and it always just takes me like under an hour. Usually I'm in there for under an hour. She works her magic and I feel so good that my hair is freshly cut. I haven't gotten a cut since January. It was either January or the beginning of February. I don't remember, but it looks so good. It's so fresh. So if you're in the area, like I said, definitely go to Sarah. I will have her Instagram in the description so you can check her out. I can't stop touching it though. It's so soft. These are what this pair flip-flops look like. I just love the straps. I think they're very beachy, like indie looking. I don't know. <laughs> you can't really see them with my pants, but very cute, very comfy. And then this pair just has like the light pink strap. Also very comfy. I feel like my toes look so weird. I feel like I have very stubby toes, so don't mind my feet, but I will have these linked if you need some comfy flip-flops. And I just got my regular size. It's almost seven o'clock now. I just put a face mask 
on my skin because it's Wednesday today and usually on Sundays and Wednesdays I do like maintenance to my face. I exfoliate and do a face mask, kind of pick up my skin, get like blackheads out of my pores which sounds really gross but also I've noticed that like I'm getting some like under the skin acne like around my chin like right here and over on this side and I don't know if that has to do with my birth control because I came off birth control like all the way back in December but I was taking these like balance supplements for just like balancing your hormones and they were by Alani. I'll actually show you what they look like. And I was taking them for a while. I started right after I stopped taking birth control. That's what the bottle looks like. But I stopped taking these, I wanna say like a couple months ago. And I've noticed like over the past few weeks, I just have this under the skin acne, which I've never had before really. And I'm wondering if it's because I stopped taking these and my hormones are just kind of wacky, but I stopped taking birth control like all the way back in December and it's June now, almost July. So that's quite a long time for it to be out of my system. But then again, I was on it for like 10 years. So I don't know if I'm gonna go back on this, like the balance supplements to see if that helps my skin a little bit or I know there's like clear stem which I've heard people rave about but I don't know I don't really know what it is because I've never really had that issue with my skin so I was just kind of picking at my skin with my magnifying mirror which I shouldn't have done but I just can't help it it just bothers me when I can see it like up close and I just want like all the yucky stuff out of my pores and when I can see that I can like pop it I will try everything I can to get it out of my skin but I just put on this mask from Kiehl's it's the rare earth deep pore cleansing mask to kind of dry out any little acne spots I love this mask so I'm just gonna leave that on for a little bit and then I'll do the rest of my skincare after I take this off. But I just put on some PJs. I have like a huge water stain on my shirt from washing my face. But I just have a Skims t-shirt on, some gray shorts, and my cute little headband that I recently got from Target. But I just started to preheat the oven because I'm gonna make these little Pillsbury cookies that I have in the fridge. I got these a couple weeks ago at Target and I thought they were cute for the 4th of July, but I'm just gonna make them now because I'm kind of craving them. These are so yummy and I've already gotten into them prior to today. <laughs> I've been eating them raw for like a little sweet treat when I'm craving something. So I'm just gonna bake the rest of them now and throw them in the oven. Like these are some of the best cookies. They're so nostalgic. They taste so yummy. I don't even know if they taste so yummy. They're just like fun to eat and sugary. How cute. How yummy do these look? I'm gonna wait for them to cool and then I'm gonna have a couple. gonna pour myself a little glass of oat milk like that much these are so freaking good it looks so funny I've never drank in this oat milk by itself but it's the Chobani I think it's vanilla and this literally tastes like milk when you eat Lucky Charms and then you drink the milk after this is exactly what that tastes like. It's very yummy. <laughs> I just got into my bed. It just started thundering and lightning outside, so it's so cozy. I love thunderstorms. I don't know if you can hear it. I just brought my laptop in my bed. I'm gonna watch some YouTube, some Netflix, and also do some editing. You guys already know the night routine. Journal, read, 
watch a movie of some sort. So it's 7.40. This is where I'll be for the rest of the night. Those cookies were so good. Oh my goodness. And that oat milk too literally tasted like Lucky Charms milk. So this will be the rest of my night. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I will see you tomorrow for vlog week day four.